Tuesday care video on the coastal burrowing scorpion and today I'm just going to be explaining how to keep these scorpions in captivity. Um, these uh, scorpions come from uh, South Australia where it does get quite cool in the winter and um, fairly hot in the summer so depending on where you're living right I'm living in Sydney but um, you generally don't need a lot of heat well, you, you just don't need any heat at all for these guys and um, they're just qu quite happy to um, uh, relax when it's cold um, as you can see it's kept in this container now these are Systema containers and they're very good quality because they have hard durable plastic and um, there is a seal right, <coughs> right around the outside of the box so it's completely escape proof and um, that's that's the reason and it's just filled with about five centimeters of cocoa peat which can be per purchased at our uh, just uh, local um, yeah, just local garden centers and um, all that sort of thing and nurseries and all of that so as far as feeding goes these guys can be fed up uh, once every two weeks and in the winter you don't need to feed them at all they are quite happy not to eat anything which in that time they'll probably remain in their burrows um, and in winter time they tend to seal off their burrows so there's generally no feeding that's taking place in the winter so that's feeding just humidity wise they can just be spread uh, sprayed every few weeks I'll just try and get my cat away um, they can be spread every few uh, sprayed every few weeks and there's not an issue with that um, and that's pretty much keeping uh, coastal burrowing scorpions um, you do have to be fairly careful due to the um, stinger they uh, can give you a fairly nasty sting these scorpions but um, you're not going to need to go to the hospital or anything like that it's just usually like a bee sting and um, yeah so just take into account that they can sting you pretty badly and as far as breeding goes these are fairly easy to breed so breeding wise uh, these scorpions can um, a flat rock just like the one here just a sandstone rock can just be placed in the enclosure and breeding takes place usually in uh, spring and summer and um, it's quite it, it's really just trial and error, error. so you're going to need to uh, place uh, get a male scorpion and place it into the female's territory and uh, they'll need to like crawl into each other's burrows and then the male will lay like the sperm on top of this uh, rock and then the female will just I don't really know the full process of how it works properly but then she collects it and then it's a few months before you can start seeing her become pretty gravid and um, that's with breeding um, just just be careful when you're breeding you want to try and uh, keep a close eye on the animals and um, that's pretty much it if there are any uh, questions or anything like that just drop a comment and I'll try to get to back try get try and get back to you as soon as possible okay thanks for watching the video